Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine, and in this video I want to do the 100 coins in Rico Harbor, because this can be actually one of the tougher ones to do. So I just want to kind of get it out of the way. The reason I'm picking episode 6 is because of that big load of coins that's on, um... Yeah, that big load of coins that's on the water, but first I want to get... Because I'm so weird, and because I dislike having 101 coins, I want to... Ooh, do you have a good coin? Yes, you do! Oh, brilliant. This is going well already. I love knocking out these blue coins. I must have a look after we get to 100 coins, Shine. At exactly how many, um... At exactly how many blue coins we have in each world, just so I can show you guys. Now, I think there's a rocket nozzle on the roofs up here, so... But yeah, what I want to do is I want to get some of these... I want to get the, the ones that are uncontrollable first. Like these ones. Okay, so that's them. Are there other? Is there, isn't there another one that goes in? Yeah, there is under the fountain, isn't there? Yeah, under here. Cause there were coins here. There are also some coins on the water, like um, like in that road that you follow with the blooper. Okay, I missed a few along there. Let's just try and get those again. Okay, maybe I didn't miss a few. Okay, there's like a row of coins, the ones that you follow with the blooper and red coins on the water, um, and as well there are coins above the water as well. Okay, well, let's go get, um, some of these, um... Yeah, there is, there's a rock nozzle. Is that the one that, like, flies really far away when you use it? See, we have 33 already, and as far as I know, there are, like, 40 on the water. So that's, like, 73 already, so... The reason I'm getting this now is to get the ones that are on top of Rico Tower, because, like I said, I'm paranoid about having 101 coins. So I want to get, um... I want to get the ones on top of Rico Tower first, so I can control my coin intake after that. Because I hate having a surfeit of coins. Don't ask me why, I'm just weird like that. You should know my idiosyncrasies by now. My neur... My neuro... Eh. My neurotic self. Your My neuroses. No, come on, get in that stupid plank, you fat motherfucker. Oh my god! <laughs> So why did I say that? That was so weird. Mario! Oh man, you're really annoying me today. I know these 100 coins videos aren't the most interesting thing in the world, but still. Okay, don't go in there. Get out of here, ghost. I ain't afraid of you. I'll just call Bill Murray to clean you up, and then they'll have to call the wolf to clean you up. Um, yeah, I think that's all we want, the rocket nozzle first, so let's just come down here and get our hover nozzle back. Boom, bap, original rap, boom, bap. Um, anything in here? Ooh, a life, well that's good. Um, so yeah, I suppose we'll get st No, we do need the rocket nozzle for something else. Oh man, I'm so stupid. I have to go all- Well no, let's go over to- Isn't there like um, a rocket nozzle box over where Blooper was? Under there? Yeah, cause look at all those coins that are underwater. I mean, this is why I like doing the, the 100 coins in this mission. It just, it makes life so much easier. The reason I want the rocket nozzle is to be able to get, there's like these, there's a blue coin over there, I know. Um, and I want to get some of the gold coins as well, because there are these ones that are like floating on the, like they are high above the water. And you can only get them either on the blooper, which isn't an option as you can well imagine, or else you can get them with the rocket nozzle, so. That's why I'm going getting these now. Well, I want to get this blue coin anyway. Okay, that should, no, Mario, why do you do that? There we go. I think we'll be good as far as blue co as coins are concerned. I don't know. We shouldn't have that much of a problem. I don't know why I'm even bothering getting these ones. I mean, there isn't really a point. I mean, there are plenty of other coins that I could be getting. Look, we're up to like I, I think I have like the number forty in my head for some reason. Knowing me, I could be very wrong, but I have the number forty in my head for some reason as to as to how many coins there are on the water. Do you know what? Screw, we'll find plenty of coins. I'm not going to do any more of this rocket crap. Rocket man! Burning out his fuse up here alone! Um... What was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was saying I have number 40 in my head for some reason. Um... Don't ask me why. Knowing me, it's wrong. Knowing me, knowing you, it's wrong. Knowing me, knowing you. I heard like the word, like... Well, no. I heard like a cover of that song, Knowing Me, Knowing You, by Escobar. I think they're a Swedish group. They're that group that did that song, um, you know, if you're trying to find something new, someone... No, what is it? 
someone new. That's what it is. It's if, if you're trying to find someone new, I really hope you do. Cause I love you. That one. I think it was them. Okay, I just took the longest way possible to get onto the rafters of the harbour. But I heard them, a cover by them of knowing me, knowing you. It wasn't that bad. I mean, it was okay. It was this kind of indie rock kind of version of knowing... Okay, Mario, screw you. Can I get coins from you? Oh, I can. Hey, bloopers give you coins. Don't forget that. But you must jump on them. I think if you... If you, um... You must jump on the bloopers. Why am I saying like, like, you must? Thou must jump on the bloopers. You must jump on the bloopers because if you, if you just, um... I sense a blue coin. I sense a blue coin. What? What am I talking like today? I'm talking like the biggest spaz going. Um, you must. There we go again. You must. Thou must jump on the bloopers because if you just spray them, they just fall off. So that's why thou must jump on the bloopers. What about thou mayest jump on the bloopers? We're not going to write east of Eden here, but still, it's a good thing to ponder. Can I get them without having to jump? No, that's the annoying thing about these coins, is you have to jump to get all of them. You have to JUMP for my love. JUMP IN! Oh yeah, but I was saying, it was like an indie rock cover version of Knowing Me, Knowing You. And it was like, um... So it'll go like, Knowing me, knowing you. There is nothing we can't do. Knowing me, knowing you. <laughs> it was just, I don't know. Gotta face it this time, we're through. Cause breaking up is never easy, I know, cause I have to go. Cause knowing me, knowing you, is the best I can do. It was like a minor version of it. That song has minor. Like, it, it it's, well, there, I don't know, I'm not going to get into that, but it was like this really, like, minor angsty indie rock version of the song or whatever. But, like, the problem with it as a cover was that if someone said to me, okay, imagine knowing me, knowing you, and imagine it as an indie rock version. That's exactly what I would think of. I would think of that exact thing. I would think of the way they did it. There was nothing kind of like special about it. Whereas if you look at covers that are amazing, like the one the ones that spring to mind, like if you look at covers like that are really good, it's the covers that almost make the song into a different song. Like there's no point in covering it unless you're going to put your own personal slant on it. Like, if you look at the most obvious example is Nothing Compares to You, by which was originally by Prince, who wrote it, and which was released in 1990 by Sinead O'Connor, who did a fantastic, phenomenal version of it. Um, and if you listen to the original of that, and if you listen to Sinead O'Connor's version, they are very, very different. There is, they are such different songs. I, but they're both amazing. And Sinead O'Connor, like, the reason why, if someone says to you, oh, do you know that song, Nothing Compares to You? The reason why you always think of Sinead O'Connor first, well most people would think of Sinead O'Connor first and Prince second, is because her cover of it was so- get the gold coin you fat stupid jerk. Um, the reason is because her cover of it was so fantastic and she poured so much of herself into it. Another brilliant example is, you know that song, I think, was it The Foundations? I think it was The Foundations, do you know that song, um... Baby, now that I've found you, I can't let you go. I'll build my world around you. And it's like the Soul song, originally. Um, well, Soul. And, yeah, I guess you could say that. Um, Alison Krauss in the 90s, I think it was in 1993, did an ama- 93, I think, did an amazing cover of that song. Um, a bluegrass-style cover of it. But it is a fantastic cover. It stands on its own as a song. It is amazing. If you, If, either of, if any of you haven't heard... Alison Krauss's cover of that song, then go and do it now. It is a brilliant cover. She is so good. Yeah, look, it is around about 40 coins. I was right. We're up to 88 now. I hope I don't have... <gasps> oh, I see a blue coin. Okay, there are more coins down there. That's four more. So we're up to 94 now if you count this one. We're doing pretty well. There's another coin up there, so that's 95. 95. And we already got some off the bloopers. What's under that ship, I wonder? Is there anything under that ship? That's where I'd put a blue coin, is under that ship, but... Anyway, let's just go and get our, um, blue coin and our four coins to make it 94, or 95. I'm thinking we're going to have to get the rocket nozzle just for the sake. I know there are some coins up on the rafters, but I don't really want to go up there. I almost prefer to get the last five coins using the rocket nozzle, do you know? But yeah, listen to Alison Krauss's version of, um, of Baby Now That I Found You, because it is a brilliant number. It is fantastic. I love it. It's one of my favorite songs of all time, her cover of that song. 
but it's just so different from the original. They're like two different songs, do you know? And that's what a cover should be, really. I'm trying to think of another brilliant cover of a song that, for which that holds, for that which that idea holds true. Um, I don't know. I can't really think. Um, I, why am I going up here? I thought I was going to get maybe my conscious conscience is telling me to do this a different way. There are two coins over there. Do you know what? I'm going to go for them. I'm going to go for these two coins over here because it'll just mean that I only have to use the rocket nozzle three times instead. Let's see if there are any more bloopers up here. That'll make my life easier. Look for some bloopers. I think there are some bloopers over here, actually, if you come over here. So maybe that's the way we'll go about it. This level, I must admit, is probably one of the most annoying ones to get... Um, to get 100 coins in. This and Serena Beach, I would say. Kick this camera. Well, it's my own fault, I keep doing it. There, that's the way I should. Excuse me, Mario! How many coins do I need now? Three? I can find three bloopers. Mario! He's just not cooperating with me today, guys. I'm sorry, but he won't cooperate. Um. Mario! Why won't you do the U jump? There! Oh, that's so freaking hard. I'm not going getting that. I can't believe I spent so long trying to get up there to kill that blooper. And then the stupid thing falls in the ocean. It's like the end of Titanic. Titanic. How many coins are on that thing? One. If there are three on that. No, there are four. I'm not going for it. I'm not going having 101 coins. Do you know what? Let's just get the rocket nozzle and get three points from down there. Okay, and stop all this fooling around. Because that's what I'm doing is acting the Lou Dramon down here. Talking about covers of songs and not actually... Okay, no, I want to get, like, right under it. There we go. Okay, 98. And as far as I remember, the, 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 the shine... Of... Okay, this has been taking so long. Okay, stop that. Get right under the stupid thing. Um, as far as I remember, the the co the shine appears over by where um you know where we fought Blooper first in that little square where there's like the little market or whatever. I remember the jump this time, Bozo. Look at that helicopter there. I thought that's what it was was a helipad. Would you go away, you stupid fucking update piece of crap? I hate that stupid thing. I have to go into settings and turn that off. It's just something I haven't done yet. That I must remember to do. Kate Bush's version of Rocket Man. How could I forget that? Kate Bush's version of Rocket Man. You've heard me say this before. Is a fantastic cover. It's like, in my opinion, it's even better than the original of Rocket Man. It is amazing. Okay, this has been the long drawn out shine. Long drawn out shine, sprite. So it only feels fishing that I do this as the long drawn out shine, guys. Okay, so. See you next time, guys. <laughs>